Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of this Let's Play series. I've actually made quite a bit of progress since the last time I left off. The house is finished, as you can see. Took some time off camera to add the details, you know, just to spare you the time. I did start making something called a mob grinder, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, many of you were saying it'd produce a lot of XP for when I eventually start enchanting. I found a village a little way back and grabbed some potatoes and carrots for the pigs. I should probably update the farm's design. Uh, this was just something temporary as I got myself situated. But overall, got a pretty decent crop yield. Oh, speaking of which, I might want to breed some of these pigs. Keep my main food supply going. Stop that. Did a little bit of mining. Um, I'll let that smelt while I show you the inside of the house. Let me just eat this first now. I added this pretty cool front porch design. I think it adds depth to the house. Also put some flowers and other shrubberies to give the place some color. So inside, I've created a little furnace area in here too and put up some bookshelves to kind of exaggerate the height of the section of the room better. I was going to put another layer of furnaces but decided against it since it'll block the windows. Uh, found out about this armor stand you can craft to put up the armor, which is pretty cool. Got a bed and a main chest for quick necessities. Um, while I was at the village, I found this fancy looking book stand. I think it's called a lectern. Uh, well, whatever it is, you can put books on it and apparently write all over it or something. But yeah, I made this stairwell to the second floor. Um, not exactly sure what I'm gonna put up here yet, but I got some nice balconies to spectate my mobs that might be walking over here. Finally, uh, we have this little chute that goes down into the basement. It's just a storage area for when I start expanding out and building more structures. I'll eventually move all the items in that chest outside down here. Um, I was having some difficulty last episode getting this portal started. Many of you in the comments were saying that you needed to place a bucket of water inside to light it. Actually, I got a water bucket right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Well, damn. Cool. I'll go through it in a bit and start exploring. Uh, let's see, am I missing anything here? Come on. I hate when that happens. Oh, uh, because I was dying a lot, many of you suggested that I should make some protection for the base. I read online about these larger villager looking things that apparently attack mobs. I don't know. I know that you needed to place four iron in a T formation, then place a pumpkin on top, but that didn't really seem to do anything. Um, one of you said that I needed shears to make a carved pumpkin, then it'll work. Oh, cool. Then supposedly, I take this and place it on top. Wow, I really hate that. <laughs> 